Hello young lovers, wherever you are. What a way to start a video. Western Supermare. It's the last day of summer in the UK. Got up this morning. Get our Cherokee out the garage because there ain't enough wind to go inland. If there is, it'll be thermals and a threat of landing at the bottom. And because it's light, there'll be nothing but parachutes and the West Wind working over the bottom. So off to the dunes, hopefully we get some sea breeze set in. I was right. Even before I got there the wind I could see the wind on the side of the motorway as I drove down picking up. There's our takeoff spot. John's put like a little step in now and like four times I climbed up it. And not bad. But uh, one climb up as you'll see now. On your own is um I do everything on your own is um not easy. You've got to get your glider up, you've got to clip in, you've got to climb up. And if you get it wrong, you pay the penalties, as you're about to see. But the climb up isn't bad from, from, from on the beach to walking back and actually stepping up. This first bit is the awkward bit, because it's like a three-foot step. But with the Cherokee, the Cherokee tends to hover in the wind. It's a fantastic glider. In the right wind speed, you can just leave it sat on its A-frame and it just sit there, not taking off and not sort of falling down if you know what I mean. So it's, it is the best glider you could possibly need for climbing up on your own, as you can see. Anyway, the climb up ain't too bad. This is the area part. Once you get to here now, it's straightforward. It's another 20 foot, just straight walk up, as you can see there. Just, um, like stinger nails have all been smashed out of the way. John's gone down there and chopped them out of the way. Anyway, the top. Had a breather just before that last bit, as you see. And here's the top. It's, it's, it's a funny thing, it, it's, it's, well it ain't over it not now really, as I say it takes about two, three minutes to climb up, and that would be it really, I get a bit of satisfaction, and up one minute, back the next, you know, two steps forward, one back, but as soon as you get to the top, you can get the, the wing sat down, and there we are. Thank God, there's the top. Now we'll get the thing clipped in. Clipping in the Cherokee, as I say, it sits there quite steady in the wind while you're clipping in, so not really a, a problem. You've got to be wearing one, obviously. There's Lyra, she can't wait to go. Notice, guys, she don't snap my feet as I go. She knows better. Clip in, now the stirrup. Now with the stirrup, once the stirrup's in, I start feeling a little bit captured, like a bit like a dog on a lead, so I don't hang about once that stirrup's in. Get the stirrup in, get the harness so it feels upright and away. So from the beach to take off, you're talking like four and a half, five minutes, the brake left. This was the first brake left, and I left it a little bit late, now with a dump. Yeah, I thought I'll turn round, I'll get back over the ridge, but as I turned round, something went under me wing, and I could not turn round and get back onto the dunes, and bang, I was dumped. And I mean dumped. <laughs> the wind, the wind is slightly off this day. It was, um, it was on the ridge. It probably best we've had it for a long time, but but slightly off to the left, which means it tends to just drag along the side of green down. So by breaking off to the left, I'm sort of flying into slower air really. As you fly down the western end, it's in cleaner air and a bit stronger. But you don't know these things on a day, so you fly as you can. And now I'm paying the penalty, climbing back up. Never mind, take a breather. <laughs> it wasn't so easy the second time round, I'll tell you. But uh, normally when we used to climb up here on my own, I used to get to the top and I used to have to have a five or ten minute break. But as it is now, I can get straight to the top and take off. And even this time now, the second time round. I didn't stay on top for long, I'll tell you. It was too good, I wanted to wait and couldn't wait to get in the air. Yeah, at the top again. Yeah, I'd better get it right this time. Trouble is now, I need to turn left. Almost immediately on takeoff. But immediately 
about 10 foot to the left of the glider's wing there's a great big pole sticking up out of the ground and it must be sticking out another 8 foot higher than what I am at takeoff there but and then in front of that again there's the bushes so as you take off you look to the left and you watch your wings hit just clearing the bushes the day before this John actually clipped the, the bushes and um, let's see that the wing got to go in so close but um, in light conditions this is the problem but uh, get the sand off the bar that's the only trouble when the sand is slightly damp it sticks on the glider left right in centre so just get it off not a problem but uh, they are broke left it is a little bit lighter along this I didn't know that at this point mind but now I'm established on the ridge I can stay there all day long now so we're now off down the ridge and do a few runs down to the western end and as everybody can guess my two dogs are running along underneath me Sam actually had so much running this day because I must have had two hours plus flying and Sam was underneath me all day or all afternoon he uh, really had a bad foot by the time we got home he's got over it this morning though haven't you Sam? needless to say there with me 24 hours of sat on my side now as I'm making this narration for the video there's um, every now and then you get somebody with a camera and they give you a wave so they're doing a bit of video you give them this guy shout it down to him he's gonna make a video make a good one I've done a few duck and dice for him it amazes a lot of people because they've never seen it before but um, it is nice mine it's, and today I've got the whole dunes to myself it must be a third of a mile third of a mile to half a mile long as the camera goes round you can probably see the whole length of the dunes there you say a third of a mile I've got them all to myself and for a change I can go both ways up and down the beach to the right was faster as you probably can notice from the video but um, it's nice to be able to go both ways and not have to worry about getting back to base sort of thing but it's good fun it's surprising how, how um, lumpy it is today most of the lumps were coming off the beach you, you, you can't really call them thermals but the sun was out it's what I call heat bumps just literally little heat bumps coming off the beach and I have, I have last about four weeks ago I actually climbed about 200 plus feet above the beach in a, in a small thermal it's amazing how, how you, know, you think a little you know being that high you can get a thermal that that kicks you that high no wonder you go up so well to be to inland but that's what it's all about See what I mean? You can run down that way quite fast. Going back the other way, as you know, it's not so fast. That's because of the discrepancy. The wind is coming from the left. When it's coming right from the west, uh, the, that's going back up the take up end now, and where it is lighter. Now is when I realised, when I, I started flying back up after the rest of the ridge, that it was lighter. As I was going to say, when it's coming over the, the dune with the burrows there, um, Breen down, you can see it as I turn. There's Breen down out in front there. When you fly in this end and it's coming over there, it can get really rough. But today, as I said, I think it was just sort of running down the face of the downs. Yeah, and what a way to land. Last minute downwind, big chunk of lift under one wing, couldn't turn the glider. As you'll see now. I'm right over the side and she was taking her time turning but thank god she come round and down on the landing Cherokee's a gorgeous glider I love it, it went, a lot of things you get away with on a Cherokee and, and the Skyhook but the Skyhook's not as good for these last minute turns as a Cherokee anyway what a day last year summer four flights the second one as you've seen wasn't very good straight to the bottom but um, had two and a half, two and a half hours, I'll add it up on the camera sometime. A really good day. Sand dune fun. Cheers. Peter the rest out. Let's hope the rest of the next month is going to be as good as this month. Because this month I've had, I think it worked out about 18 flights. 